morning everybody. It is Thursday today. Not that that is important right now, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> but today, do you know what? I feel like it has been the longest time since I've filmed like a full on proper workout with a talk over, bit of a fitnessy one, you know? I mean, I always put my workouts in my vlogs. I'm a bit of a vlogger and I like to film my day. I like to, I like to do a bit of a chat. So I haven't really done kind of a proper focus worky outy video so today that's what we're gonna do and that was a very long-winded tell but as you can see by the title that's what we're doing well actually what i think i'm gonna do is film my current favorite kind of exercises for my legs and my glutes so a bit of a booty you know i feel like the last time i did a video like this must have been months ago it was definitely i don't think i've done one this year you know i think it was last year that's a long time we need a new one so it's gonna be the exercises that i really have found lately that really get my bum going on the go you know it's a good one i'm going to film a talk over afterwards i mean i'm not the greatest with the talk overs i struggle a little but i'm hoping that, that it'll help with tips and just kind of how to set up and just little things that might help you target your glutes more as well so let's hope it's going to be a good day i think it's going to be a good day and maybe I'm, i might show you some food when i get back but i'm going to keep this vlog nice and short and sweet i say this a lot but i mean it today <laughs> we're going to keep this just fitness fitness no blab just a fitness <laughs> so before I head off, just thought I'd quickly show you my little outfit. So I've got on the Gymshark Ombre seamless leggings in grey. I, I am obsessed with these. So not only is this my favourite leg glute workout at the moment, this is my favourite gym outfit at the moment. So these are incredible. So I was a bit hesitant about these when I got them, just because I like a colour, don't I? But I love these. They just go with everything. They're very flattering on the booty. Don't know about you, but that's what I think. And then I've got a little Vital Seamless top on. This one's really old though, but it's very similar to the pink ombre top. I just like wearing this one sometimes too. And then I've got this cute little Lululemon bra. I've got a bit of a tan line there <laughs> that has a very cute back, which I can't show you right now, but it's okay. So this is just my little outfit today. And I think I'm gonna go. Bluebell's hanging out. We're not gonna see too much of you today, Blue, because we can't go to the gym. And our neighbours have been complaining that she's been barking too much in the garden at the foxes. It's been a bit of a sulky morning because this barking has to stop. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head out and it's gonna be a good one. Hoping. <laughs> right, so as you can see, we're starting with a little bit of a stretchy opening up the body ready for an exercise. So I am mainly focusing on my hip flexors here. I'm just kind of like just opening up the body, you know, having a bit of a flex just to kind of get going. So the first thing we're going to go into is a little superset. First thing we're going to do is leg abductions. Now I'm just sat on the edge of a seat here. I'm using a resistance band, otherwise, it doesn't really work. <laughs> and you basically just want to push out against the resistance band, feet quite close together, you should feel the side of your glute, your abductors. Now we are going into the second part of the superset, which is a plated box squat with a little pause. So you may be thinking here that it will probably hit your quads, it will hit your quads but if you really focus on the glutes and that pause at the bottom is really important to then push up with your heels and you should feel it in your bum. My bum kills after this little superset. So the point in the kind of abductions is to really get the bum woken up, ready for the little pause squat, box squat. <laughs> so the next thing we're going into is a double elevated single leg thrust. <laughs> Bit of a mouthful. So the point in the two benches here instead of one is purely so that you can get a deeper stretch. And basically you want to just be thrusting up and squeezing the bum at the top. Now the resistant band isn't a necessity, but it does kind of help push it even more. So you want to kind of be keeping the leg straight and pushing against the resistant band as well. But the most important thing here is the bum squeeze and the bum thought in the brain while you're doing it. Okay, the next exercise we've got here is a sumo deadlift. Now, these are a little bit of a burner, I'm not gonna lie. So you wanna make sure that your legs are wider than shoulder width and you want your toes to be pointed out 
And the, the most important thing I find to really get the glutes involved here is on the way up to really pull up with the glutes and that's all about kind of thinking about them as usual mind to muscle connection and the little squeeze at the top of course with the ugly bum look. <laughs> okay, next we're going on to another superset. So here we are starting with a single leg thrust similar to the elevated ones, but we're just doing this with a resistance band and obviously the back's on the floor here. You wanna thrust upwards, squeeze the glute at the top, and it's just kind of preparing each bum cheek to be woken up for this big lift here. So as you can see, a lot of people do ask how you kind of get a bar on with a hip thrust, and here I just rolled it on. Just have a little bit of a roll, you know? And then you want to have your, your shoulder blades resting on a bench. And then we are just going to thrust up. You make sure you have a pad, otherwise you might get a sore hip. And you want to really squeeze at the top. So this is a bit of a pause as well. We're pausing for about two to three seconds at the top. Squeeze, have a bit of a thrust, you know. These are just the key to glute growth, I think. Now, next up we've got one that is actually such a burner. Now, it looks like it would hit the quads a lot because obviously you've got a plate at the front. However, the positioning of the front foot is very important whether you will feel it more in your glutes. So, really it depends person to person, but you wanna just have a feel around and that pulse kills you. So this is actually called a Bulgarian split squat, pulse with a hop. <laughs> Bit of a funny one, but really this one kills each bum cheek off one at a time, it's a killer. And then finally, we're finishing off with another thrust. So as you can see, the thrusts I find are the most important for glute growth and just glute interaction with the bod. <laughs> so we are using a hamstring kill machine. I mean, with this one, you have much less kind of range of movement because it's, it's sort of a, it's sort of a pump, I'd call it. But I like to finish off with this, high reps, Bit of a bird eye, I mean it really gets the bum going, and yeah, it's just a great one. Right, I am back from the gym. It was a very good workout, very burning on the bum. I think I'm gonna ache a lot tomorrow. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm back, and I'm just about to eat my lunch. A little bit late, but it's okay. I did actually have a protein bar on my way home, and I was going to save the wrap to show you the one that I love but I forgot, it's in the bin somewhere, so I'll pop up the one I like, and it's purely just because it's the one, the only one, in the supermarket by our house. I'm not massively into protein shakes at the moment, occasionally I might make a smoothie, but yes, that's just what I like doing at the moment, is having a bit of a bar. I like a bit of a bar. There's a lot going on in our kitchen at the moment. Our secret project, the chef over there, and I just prepared two lots of this, so I've got a chicken sausage pasta with vegetables, parmesan, and it's wonderful, and spinach is a good one. So I'm gonna eat this, and then mm. I think I'm going to make something with you, like a desserty thing that I love. That's something to do with the secret project as well. But you'll see it, but it's lovely. So I think I might just make that to finish off the vlog because it'll be nice. Before I go and make a very nice thing to finish the vlog, I thought I'd just quickly sit down and say, because I kind of touched on protein bars then, but I was rushing a little bit because I didn't want my food to go cold. I actually don't really take any. So people are often ask me, what supplements do I take? And I used to work for a supplement brand, Woman's Best, and one of the reasons I left was purely because I just, I just stopped. I mean, I didn't used to really take much anyway, but I don't really have anything anymore. I mean, I have the odd protein bar after a workout to get a bit extra protein in. But to be honest, you don't really need a supplement. I mean, I really believe that you can get what you need out of your diet. If you think about what you're gonna eat, you'll be fine. So I just always make sure in each meal I have that there is a protein source. I mean, sometimes it doesn't happen, but in general I try and get my greens in. I love a good green. They had a bit of spinach in the old pasta over there. Also, speaking of that pasta, you may recognize it because I used to make it in my old flat a lot. It's a great one. I don't know whether the secret project is actually gonna be announced before this video either, so you may already know what we're doing, but it's not really a secret, but we haven't announced the announcement, but very soon there's something coming, like very soon. But I just wanted to do the announcement through a vlog that I'm filming the day after tomorrow, but I think it might be up before this video anyway, so you probably know what I'm on about, and you're probably like, shut up, Megan, we know what you're talking about, so. Anyway, 
just before I finish this vlog, I am going to make some sorbet. So at the moment, well actually today it's not too hot, but it's been very hot in the UK and that's a rarity here. So I did actually try this out the other day and they were so nice. So I'm making them with you. They're the easiest thing in the world to make as well. I don't know why I never used to make these. So I'm going to make one mango, one kiwi and one raspberry. And basically all you have to do to make a sorbet is put some frozen fruit with some maple syrup. Is it maple or is it golden? Maple. A maple syrup. So what I'm going to do is put 120-ish grams of fruit and then a tablespoon of maple syrup and I'll show you at the end of each one so 120 ish grams of each fruit so you gotta do one at a time otherwise you get a tropical if you want a tropical mix them together I don't want a tropical I want a mango and a raspberry and a kiwi separate mm. I really hope you enjoyed this video I haven't done like a as I said I haven't done a proper in-depth workout for a very long time so I thought it would be quite nice to have a bit of a change and I hope that it was helpful and I hope my talk over turns out okay I haven't done it yet still so we shall see what you're looking at in the background. yeah you blurred out don't worry just a hairy blur <laughs> yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will hopefully see you in the next one which will I'm not sure what it'll be actually it might be this thing that's going on over there and here or it might be a haul and then we've got the Dublin gym shark so it's gonna be a good day anyway I'm gonna eat my sorbet and I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in the next one hopefully probably with the sorbet or three